What's up, people? It's uh, me, Lillian, sick <laughs> for the first time in forever. Y'all. So, anyway, today I'm going to be doing my 2018 makeup collection, and all my makeup is in this thing right here. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you it. Don't mind my hair, it's a little um beat. Yeah, let me just show it to you. Don't forget to subscribe, even though you haven't even seen my channel, but that's okay. Also, like this video because and watch my other videos because I normally don't sound like this, but right now I sound like a dying goat. But anyway, and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so first things first, this is where I keep all my makeup. It's like on from the door to this wall I have. And it's in the Alex 9 drawers, which you can get at Ikea. Isn't that right, Molly? She's watching me. I'm Molly. So anyways, the first thing I do... Okay, I have this jar that I'm pretty sure Riley got me. And she just got me the stand to put it in it. And it's labeled Oval, but that's not the right name. And I just have all of my brushes. I have, like, assortment of brushes. I have Morphe. No, oh God, you can't even see. Morphe, this beauty control elf tart what is this one ulta um emacs designs and real techniques and you know like all that then i keep all my eyeshadow brushes plus a green marker in this wine glass type thing i have it's plastic anyways i have my highlighter brush in here from morphe but i just have brushes from morphe it Cosmetics, Kylie, more Kylie Elf, Emacs Designs, uh, yeah, just Wet n Wild, Real Techniques. I just have like all that. Then I keep I have this red solo cup labeled Lillian, and inside of it is just money because I'm a savage. And I also keep a nice lip balm. I just have this Dr. Lip that I got from my Birch Box. So yeah, moving on to the actual jewel. Okay, so starting off with foundation, it's a drawer. I'll give you guys a quick overview. Um, we just kind of have foundations, foundations, powders, primers, concealers. There's bottles that can stand up and stuff like that. So, off with primers because that's like the base thing. I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. What in Wild Photo Focus Foundation Photo Focus Face Primer, the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, the Ulta Primer, Professional in a Travel Size, Urban Decay in a Travel Size, Tarte Brighter Days, um, this Tarte Ready Set Radiant Marine Mousse. I have the Fenty Beauty Fo Pro Filter. The e.l.f. Smashbox Matte Strobe Cream. Um, what do you call it? Another Ulta. The Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it for primers. I have a lot of primers. Next is foundation. And this is where I have a lot. I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, L'Oreal Matte Plus Poreless, two of the Tarte Clay Stick Foundations, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the It Cosmetics CC Cream in a Travel Size, because that's my travel size foundation, the NYX Cosmetics Drops, Total Control Drops in the wrong shade, the Rainforest of the Sea Drops from Tarte, this is in the right shade, but... Uh, in summertime, but it's winter, so I use it with the, um, you know, and then I have the Tarte Amazonian K Clay Full Coverage Foundation, the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, because she's, like, my favorite, and I forgot what this is called, the Tarte Empowered High Gel Hybrid Foundation. For powder foundations, I have the Neutrogena, the L'Oreal Fit Me. Of course, I have the Cody Airspun. Two of the Laura Mercier travel sizes right there. 
And that's pretty much it for powder foundation. For concealer, I have the Rimmel Hide the Blemishes, the Tarte Shave Tape, of course. And this e.l.f. Concealer Highlight Duo, which isn't really a highlight, but that's okay. We don't judge. The Urban Decay Naked Skin. This drugstore concealer palette from the dollar store. I was drinking a dollar. And I used to use it to cut my crease, but it got a little too, like, dried out. So now I just use it, the red one. And I put some of these drops in it, and it's literally good as new, so I still use it. But it's not really that creamy. I mean, the skin tone's a little. And then the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. There's a couple, like, statements other drawer which is this is my a lot drawer a lot's going on in this drawer so anyways i have starting right here i have these are all my mascaras oh and i guess and the eyeshadow primer these are all my mascaras i have um eyeliners also in here and eyebrow pencils so I have, I'll just show you a couple. The number seven, which is just my favorite mascara. The Lash Blast, Lash Blash Fusion from CoverGirl. This Ulta one, a NYX Micro Brow Pencil. That's in the shade Blonde and it's freaking orange. But that's okay, we don't touch. I have an Essence uh, Brow Gel. The NYX Wonder Pencil. Yet to try this, but this is the Wing Woman. I got it in my birch box, and it's a full thing. And yeah, that's of course. I have the Lash Paradise, not the um, Better Than Sex mascara because I don't have enough money to buy that yet. And this is a very real tinted primer in the travel size, which I want to try. It's like brown broski. So yeah. Next, moving on, I have this is the um kind of like container type thing. I mean, I don't really know. Anyways, I have two Anastasia single shadows. This is in Satan and Blonde Fresco. I also have a NYX glitter glue primer a couple of disgusting lashes a steel mini glitter balm two liners my favorite anastasia dip brow elf gel liner milani um dip brow my bad color pop brow color i have two of those those are really cheap and a tatcha water cream in the travel size i also have a uh, ulta beauty brow shape then i also have ardell magnetic lashes which i've yet to try because i wanted to try them in a video okay next moving on to this section this is where i keep like my bronzers highlighters just you know tiny things First thing I have is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter, I think that's, and Moonlight Pearls. This stuff is freaking stunning. I'm in love. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Eyeshadow Palette, which has six shades. They're not like the best quality shades, but they're still pretty good. And yeah, I think they're free. Then I have my all-time favorite freaking eyeshadow palette in the whole wide world, the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Warm Brown. For when these shades are so creamy and pigmented, the mirror is hella nice. Like, it's actually a good quality mirror. I don't look terrible in it. And the shades are so nice. I've used this about like every day since I've gotten it. I have the e.l.f. blush palette, I think that's what it's called, yeah, in light, which is this, and I only really use one shade from here, and it's this one, because every other one is sparkly, but for $4, for $4, that's okay. Then I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Oh my god, that should actually probably go in there. The Ulta Beauty Duo Chrome Highlighter. The Benefit High Beam Liquid Highlighter. 
Oh, the Ulta Beauty Illuminator. A spoolie because you can never have too many spoolies. The e.l.f. Liquid Eyeshadow. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which is probably my least favorite makeup item I own. Just because I don't like it. I have a colorful, a color girl, cover girl eyeshadow quad that I don't use, sadly. What is this? A tinted eye primer from Ulta Beauty. The Hula Benefit Bronzer. A Bobbi Brown blush in the shade Stamp Pink. Two of these Wet and Wild glitters because I just like having loose glitter around. A Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer, which is my favorite. A Bare Minerals thing. An Ulta Beauty um, You Make Me Blush palette. And for one, their bronzers are probably my, like, one of my favorite bronzers. And also their blushes are incredible. I have two um, eyelash curlers. Because I can. And then the Wet n Wild blush color iconic blush in the shade mellow white with a side of shatter i also have the wet and wild color icon bronzer what is it bronzer bronzer in the shade take me back to brazil and this pan is huge and back here i have um the naked 2 urban decay basics palette and the sephora eyeshadow palette then way back here, like way back there, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals, and then an LA Color Highlighter. Next drawer. And this drawer, I keep all my beauty blenders, the products, setting sprays, and yeah just everything else so for beauty blenders i have the morphe sponge the one with the edge two beauty blenders one a fresh one that's the limited edition that i never will use and then another limited edition one i use a dry shampoo uh, a contour stick the kk beauty set uh some pieces glitter setting spray this is what is this I believe this is toner oh a whole bottle of toner this LA colors matte liquid lipstick the matte prep and prime the Marty Pedescu Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Balm Revolution what is this Iconic Mac Mad. Oh, honey, no. Matte nude lipstick that looks like a freaking Mac lipstick. But that's okay. Uh, this thing, the Revlon, a Tarte, actually, two Tarte minis lipstick. And yeah. For palettes, now let me get on the ground. Uh, I have a lot. So starting off, I have this Ulta Beauty palette, which has the best freaking bronzer in the world. Their bronzers are the best. The Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Not going to go too in-depth on this one. The Modern Renaissance. The Subculture. This is actually one of my favorite palettes. Their brushes are also very good. But this is like one of my favorite palettes this subculture is. The Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This Ulta Beauty, I uh, don't know what to call it palette. That has like a bunch of weird shades. The Kylie Royal Peach palette. Ooh. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. The Tartelet in Bloom palette. 
which I haven't really used her TBH, but their mirrors on their palettes are so good. But there's her. I have four ColourPop palettes. The She Femrosa palette, My Little Pony palette, Yes Please palette, and then the I Think I Love You palette from ColourPop. I have the Anastasia Glow Kit and the Nicole Guerra one, and she's beat. The Tardis Pro Glow palette. This is so difficult. I'm going to lift it up a little. The Tardis Pro Glow palette. I need to get the computer to edit. So next we have this palette. Next we have the Tardis Pro palette. Ooh. She be looking nice. Okay, anyways. Then we have, oh, this is why. The Carly Bible palette. The 25A and the 25B palette. I'm gonna stop saying palette. I feel like I said it. Make it a whole while back there. I don't that don't stand up back there because I have two fake Kylie palettes that I wanted to test them out in a video. The holiday palette from Kylie Jenner and the purple palette. I also have this fake Morphe palette, Impressed You palette, Beauty Glaze. And this is like the, a Jaclyn Hill one. And then I have the 25, 3502 palette from Morphe, which haven't used her in a long time. I also have three Morphe palettes, the DD palette, which I forgot whose collaboration, but it's a highlighting palette. The 9C, which is a contour palette. And then 9N, which is a blush palette, which I means, think I means nine neutral. So we thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video because it's gonna be thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video and check out my other videos so you can tell when I'm actually not sick and what I sound like and when I'm not constantly going. So like, sorry if that annoyed you. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to check out my other videos. Peace on the fruits. Love you.